Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting So today I thought we'd have a little play with some shrink plastic And just some little flower dies So these are just some um, little dies that I've got from, I think I got them from AliExpress a long time ago um, But you can get little flower dies um, all over the place now um, And I've just made some little brooches and I just think they are absolutely gorgeous now these would be ideal obviously as little gifts so again if you're getting ready for Christmas you can have to make some beautiful little gifts like this little stocking fillers or something or you can put them onto your journal so if you've got a fabric journal you could pop it onto there you could use it as the closure on a journal to tie to um, clip a couple of bits of um, ribbon or something too um, but I just think they are so so pretty um, so really simple to do as well I've also made one which um, I thought would go on a ring now this is just a ring base um, so it's just sort of like um, easy to go on there but I haven't put it on there because I need to mix up some epoxy resin now I've left the wire on there so when I put epoxy resin in there you will have something to hang on to and I just think it would look really really pretty wouldn't it doesn't that look lovely nice little present um, so it's just like a little bit of fashion jewelry um, and lovely and also I've made some of these beautiful little um, dingly danglies um, which are gorgeous and they're really really tiny um, so I'm going to show you how to make those as well but the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to show you how to color the shrink plastic now I don't know whether any of you have had a go at shrink plastic um, but it is great great fun so let me just pop this to the side I'm going to show you the one that I'm using I'm using the Sizzix um, and you get 10 sheets in here I'll pop a link to it um, underneath the video um, and I'm just um, using a heat gun to shrink it down now I've cut a piece off I've already got some here so with that I can show you um, how to color in a minute um, and these are the ones that I've already stamped um, so I've just got some beautiful I've just taken a piece like this and I've just stamped it with random um, stamps most of them are from um, BB craft and I'm going to just show you how to color these ones because these are the ones I just um, stamped out no, cut out um, with the dies so what I am going to do I'm going to have to put these bits and pieces out the way my desk again is getting smaller and smaller because I'm encroaching on all my space I need to have a good tidy up so let's take a piece of white paper pop that underneath like that I'm going to pop this little piece of foam under here so when I stamp on it it's got a little um, bit of softness behind it so I'm going to use a couple of the BB craft stamps and I want to do this with butterflies on so again I've got this beautiful set um, which I'll link down below with butterflies on it and they're beautiful so I'm just going to take a couple of butterflies the other one that I did this isn't a whole size sheet because I used some of it um, so I'm just going to just take that now there's two sides to it there's like a matte side and there's also like a shiny side to it so you want to stamp on the matte side and you want something um, which is not going to smudge um, or anything so you want something like stays on um, to use for the stamp so I'm just going to take my butterflies and then I'm just going to randomly stamp over it and look they just come out beautifully so this one takes a little while to do just to make sure you've got it all stamped nicely on here and everywhere sort of like covered um, so it looks really nice so just turn your your paper around like that some ink just so all the butterflies not that it really matters um, at all but it'd be quite nice just to have them in going in different uh, directions like this and then what I do what I did with the other one <coughs> excuse me just fill it in fill in the edges and let's just stamp that off on there don't need that one 
turn that over so we can see. Look, I've got to stuck the ink pad on there. Now I've got some butterflies. Um, I've also got some tiny little flowers on there as well. But on one of these, like you probably can't see because it's quite small. I did the butterflies and I think it looks really pretty because I've used the yellow and the blue. Now to colour it, I've used chalks, but you can use anything um, to colour. Now I did see on YouTube, I don't know who it was now, but <clears throat> I'll try and find the video for next time. They did jelly pr printing onto some um, shrink plastic. So I really would like to give that a go. So I will try that at some point. Seeing I've got the shrink plastic out, I will give it a go. So that might be your next video. Um, but I love it. So that's, I'm just loving these butterflies. Let's take this one off and then I'm just going to, where's my pack? There we go. These are two little, tiny, tiny little butterflies there. So these are just like, go in between. Just to um, fill it out a bit. Like that. I just think it's just one of those things where you can just um, not really think about it. And it's quite nice just to sit and do some stamping to pop the little butterflies and if you take a look um, at all the BB craft um, stamps that they have they have some beautiful ones now I think I'm going to use a little bit of greenery in here so it's got a couple of sort of like little leaves on here Just pop that on there. I think that ever go that looks nice doesn't it Just stamp this through. If you have a white um, paper underneath, it means that you can sort of like see where you're stamping. It's a lot easier. There we go. And then once this is dry, we are going to go over this with some chalks. Um, because I like to use chalks on shrink plastic because um, they're quite pale when you put them on but you do get a really good colour with them um, colours it really really well so let's have a look pop that like that that's pretty good isn't it so let's see what else we can fit in between I have got some, what's these? A bit noisy outside again today. Oh, these are like little flowers. They're nice, especially if you're making. You want to try and um, get as many. Or, well, just fill this in as much as you can, um, because they shrink down so much. Trust me, it's quite small. You want to sort of like fill in all the space. Um, and these stamps are perfect because they have got some really, really tiny, lovely little stamps in there. Now I haven't gone through all of them um, because there are so many stamps, but these are just beautiful. So I might speed this up a little bit so you don't see me stamping all the time. There we go, I think that will do. Now I think that would look really nice to do is just like a backing paper for your journals or um, tags or something, wouldn't it? Because that's beautiful. I do like that. So let's just stick these little ones on. And they ha do have some lovely little tiny little stamps to use. So let's pop that to the side. Okay, so let's just make sure that is, just leave that for a minute to dry. Oh no, we do, we need that one, don't we? Because we're going to colour it now. Pop these little bits over there. 
Now what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this chalk set. Oopsie daisy, gosh, throw it across my desk. If I can open it. Now these are beautiful. Now I do have a link to these in my Amazon storefront. Um, but again, use any chalks, anything. You can use inks. Um, you can use all sorts of things to colour. So it's good to test. Have a little test and see what you can use on there as well. Um, because the colours do come out quite um, strong, um, obviously, on inks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take a little bit of these little dobby things. Now let's just see if we can see which is the best way for me to do it. So you can see, there we go. Move these bits and pieces out the way. So I'm just going to take some pink and then I'm just going to go over just little areas with the colour. So we want to get some pink in everywhere. Make sure your ink is dry so that it won't smudge. So this has got a very chalky noise to it. Let me use a different one because that's quite quite a hard brush, um, piece of cotton. There we go. These are little, actually they're not cotton warbles, they are um, little pom-poms. Little white pom-poms that I got from the um, cheap shop. Go through there. I don't know. I hope you can see the pink coming through there. It's very faint, but as it shrinks, it really sort of almost like condenses the colour. So this is a different pink. This is a sort of a darker pink in there. So just pop it all over. So I'll probably speed this bit up as well, just so you can see me go through this, because this takes a little while to do. Okay, so that's pretty nearly it. So I think that looks really nice. Just finishing off with a little bit of orange. It's very rainbowy, isn't it? I just think it looks so pretty. So let's just have a little bit of orange down here. But I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. And as I said, that would make a beautiful journal page, wouldn't it? let's just pop these bits down there like that lovely okay guys so that's the um coloring bit done so that looks beautiful so as you come up look it just looks so so pretty now what we're going to do we are going to cut it out so i'm going to get my big um Cizix machine out oops make a big mess let's take this off you have to excuse the dust it doesn't come out very often so i'm going to first i'm going to probably have to cut this down aren't I? let's just take our little i've just clipped these together now i hope you can see this should we go out a little bit let's go out just a little bit there we go so I'm going to pop that like that. I'm going to take my scissors, wherever they are, these will do. I'm just going to cut, just put it down. Just cut the section off like this. Pop that to the side. Let's go around this way. So we'll pop this one on. And I will pop that one on, and then I will pop this one there. So let me go. Try and get as much on there as you can, so we don't waste anything. Now I'm just going to pop this over the top. Let's 
just like that and just cut them out easy peasy so again obviously you don't have to have flowers you can have whatever you like cutting out or making out of this just pop them out like that so that's how simple it is I'm going to pop these together I have to put a clip on them because I'm so um, untidy here at the moment I will probably lose them so let's just take those off pop this down there and there we go aren't they just gorgeous I love them let's make a hole in the middle of this one do we need to come back in again Oops. not too far not too far so let's just make a little hole in there oops pop that out you can measure the hole if you want to so I'm just going to eyeball it for a minute now this doesn't reach in there like that so what I have got I've got my little silent setter here which I use which is really good for um, little holes obviously so do you reckon that's probably about it there we go roughly in the middle let's pop this in there and now what we need to do is just shrink them up now this is the fun bit so I'm going to take my heat gun like this I'm going to take my little pokey tool and we will start with the biggest one first Before I do that, I'm not ready because I need, I need this to squash them down, to make their shapes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take rolly ball like this. And when what, once this is warmed up, I'm going to pop it on there and then I'm just going to squash it down into the foam. Can you see this foam pad? Yes, you can. Okay, let's start again. pop that onto there and I'm just going to take my little ball and just push it down you can push these down because it's quite plasticky do you know what I mean look at that isn't that just lovely so that's like a little lovely little flower do the same with this one Now again you can either go with the shiny side or the matte side it's entirely up to you so that sits in there nicely and then the little one doesn't take a lot just be careful because they are very very hot and just push that in like that so you make these beautiful little flowers which are just gorgeous and they just sit inside each other like that which are beautiful so this one I've actually made a little bit too um, round like that I need it a little bit flatter because what we want to do we want to pop a little um, brooch on the back so what I'm going to do, I'm going to reheat them again. So it's just to show you that they do reheat. And I just pressed a little bit too hard. So let's do it again. A 
pick that up just roll it a little bit I think like that so just shape them how you want to shape it like that see it's still I'm not doing a very good job on this one today let's heat it again I think I might do with this one is just bring the little leaves up, the little petals up, like that. There we go. Just going to flatten this just a fraction. Just shows you that what you have done, once you've heated it up, that's not your end shape you can reheat them and then just um, bend them to however you would like so let's do that one I think I'll keep that one up like that so there we go that was simple not okay so how lovely is that now for the middle bit I have got my big box here with all my little findings in it well not my little findings but little brooch clips and everything so this is just a little brooch one um, I have got bigger ones here like this and I also have little silver ones I have little ones like this which are flat which you can stick if you had something flat you could just stick that on the back little I've got little hair ones as well which you could pop little ones on here all sorts of things and I've also got these ones these are a bit bigger so I've got lots of lovely things to play with so let's take that one out I'm also going to use one of these which is these little flathead pin thingamajigs whatever they are called I will find out I'm going to use a little bead And we shall put, let's just pop a little pearl in there. Let's just pop a little pearl in there like that. Now I also have got my little UV light and I'm going to use some resin as well. Um, because um, it's a really good glue and I'm going to use resin to glue this on. Instead of epoxy, I'm going to use the resin because I was using the resin before and I found that it worked really, really well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop the little one on. So that's how you make the smaller ones, just like that. And then I'm going to pop the, this one on and then we're going to have that one. And that's what it looks like. Just gorgeous, aren't they? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold that all together like that. I'm going to take my resin. I'm just going to pop a little bit of resin on the top here just to hold that down. I'm going to take a little toothpick just to hold that in place. Okay, and then I'm going to just turn my lamp on and hold that over it for a second just so it sets it. Okay, so that's set a little bit and I'm just going to leave that underneath. You want it to set just a little bit so it holds it. So I will pop that under there before I cut it off. So this little pin, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bend it slightly. I'm just going to just like that, just so it's got a little bit of shape to it. This still clips under like that. So it just fits the um, back of your little flower like that okay so that should be it that's just to hold that in place like that and then what I'm going to do I'm going to take this and just snip that off and I'm going to bend this I haven't, I haven't cut it right off I'm just going to do that and then I want to just bend that over just a little bit just so it stays in place and then I'm going to take the little pin 
pop that over the top squash that down a little bit more pop a little bit of resin actually that's a little bit too big let's just cut a little bit more off a little bit of resin on there now again it if you're gonna if you haven't got resin use a little bit of epoxy um, I find that is the best glue to use to stick things like this on okay again I'm gonna hold my lamp over it just to hold it and just so it makes sure it is um, stuck on there without wobbling off because that just holds it tight like that it doesn't need very long to set it like that I'm going to pop that under my UV lamp so there we go so we will let that cure under there for a minute now I'm going to show you how to how I made these now again the same way as I did the other ones which we can do that again if you like if I can find one let's have the little one here so that's just this little one here so again I shall show you Turn this on. Where's my little pokey? Pick it up pop that on there and I'm just going to just push that down with the little tool and there we go your little cup your little um, flower and then these what I've got in there I have got these now these are little earrings what you put earrings on to like that the little blank so that goes on the on the back so that's your little posts so all as I'm doing I'm not using the back bit I'm just using the post and I'm going to take this pop it through the front of the flower like that and then what we do we're going to just pop the resin on there again to hold it so I will do that and that is what we're going to use as our little um, clip or a little hanger so stick a little bit on there where's my little toothpick gone funny noise then just going to use a bit of wire just to make sure that's in place I'm going to take my lamp just hold it over just so that holds it in place like that and then pop it back under the lamp so again same thing pop that in a little bit of the resin just a tiny tiny bit on there let's just pop that on there so you can see that's just holding it on hold your lamp over it before you put it down so you know it's it's stuck so the pin doesn't drop through pop that down under your lamp so there we go we'll leave that one for in a minute turn our lamp back on and all as I did then I've just popped a little hook over the top like that and they are just the perfect size so these for dingly danglies you can make um, actually where's my little ones that I did here so these are the ones from the BB craft so you could actually hang these off there that would look quite nice actually wouldn't it do you think that would fit on there should we give it a go which one should we have a little pinky one and then I've just inside I've just popped a little bit of stickles let's just open this up which way could we hang it there we go look at that oh that looks nice doesn't it see all sorts so you can use all sorts I like that on there okay let's see where we are okay this one will be done so that's it like that and all I'm going to do I'm going to take my little round head pliers this way 
twist this round and make a little loop like that and there we go you've got something just to hang a little hangy hoopy hoopy loop lovely and this one here like that Let's just twist that down like that so we have a lovely little hook on there which is a perfect so we've got lots of little dingly danglies this is the little brooch so that is stuck on there a bit lopsided but that will be okay and there we go we've got a beautiful little brooch on there which I just think these are lovely so if you had um, a little gift or something you could pop this actually onto it if you were giving somebody a scarf or something for Christmas or a birthday you could make one with the same sort of colours in it and I just think they would look absolutely beautiful wouldn't they um, you could do them in browns um, nice vintage colours but I just thought a nice little pop of colour would be quite nice wouldn't it this is one with a, a bigger one and I've actually popped a little bead um, top piece on there which let's have a look I suppose we could do that with this couldn't we we put that on there I've got a few here on the little ones what would that look like I've got lots of little for beads here we want quite a small one there's a little one there look at that that's lovely isn't it oh i'm gonna make some more of those that looks beautiful okay right another quick thing i wanted to do as well is to show you if you didn't want to stamp you can color them as well let me just pop these bits out of the way Let's put this clear one up here just so that you can see. You can just, what I did, where's my pen? I've got a pen here which is um, a water based, a water resistant one. Um, and then we can just, oh, actually I won't, I'm going to pop it onto the white paper. And then all as I did for these ones, you can see I just drew sort of like patterns on there. Um, so you can do whatever you like. I just came from the top like that. A little circle on there and then do that so you can make your own little patterns up on them and once they've shrunk down um, they look really really lovely now you can um, pop resin over the whole thing just so it's given a bit of more wear and tear on it especially if you're going to make them into something like a key ring um, and then it won't wipe off i did do some with this these are my very first ones that i did i'm just going to quickly show you let me take it off here now this shrink plastic is supposed to just drop by 40 percent but i think it's more like 60 percent can you see that one i put a layer of resin over the top of that one um, just to protect it but I just think that's really lovely as well um, just to protect um, the colour of it so just so you can just draw on them really really nicely this one we can just all depends what you're going to use them for as well and what your pattern's going to be like so what should we just some funny little funny little doodly shapes on here just like that perfect this one we can just go round in like a little spiral like that shall i pop a little bit of color on those i wonder if i use i might just oh no i won't i don't have my inks i don't think it will work with sort of like oxide sprays but it might you never know so let's just have a little bit of pink on this one
And I think I might go over it with my white Posca pen. Let's see if that will work. Let's just have, shall we have purples and pinks on this? Just to do a quick one to show you. I do love having a day of playing up in my craft room. It's lovely. What should we have in the middle? Shall we have green? Oh no, we will have blue. We'll have a nice blue one in the middle. There we go. Where's my Posca pen? Here we are. Shall we just see how this will work? dots in there so it shows you can use any sort of medium doesn't it well, we shall see but I'm quite looking forward to having a go and doing some oh gosh jelly plate print jelly plate prints on them I think that would be fun wouldn't it Just some little randoms on here. I believe you can also get um, shrink plastic which you can put in the printer and you can print on. But I do believe, I will have a look, but I think it's quite expensive. Look at that. That's quite cute, isn't it? Let's have a look. Let's dry these quickly. Let's put these ones out of the way so they don't blow everywhere. Look, you can really see the white on that. That's lovely. Oops. doesn't it? Gosh, all fingers and thumbs today. There we go. Oh, that wire's got stuck. There we go. Let's just push that one in. Oh, I need to tidy my desk. Look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? Really, really nice. Now, shall we get a little bead? Let's just finish this one off, shall we? Open this up. Pop this in. Do you think? I think that's going to be a little bit too big. Let's see what we've got in here. Should we have a nice pink one? Will that fit? Lovely. I love them. Oops. So, 
just wondering what I could put on the bottom of that if we could see it. If a little bead cap would work. If you could have it that way. Let's just see. Look at that. That looks nice as well. You can actually stick that on. And if I made that a little bit more curlier, we could actually have that as a flower, couldn't we? Let me quickly give that a try. Sorry guys, I'm just sort of experimenting here. Let's give this a bit more of a heat up. I don't want to heat on here just in case it burns it. Let's see. still fit on it let's have a look yes look at that that's really nice oh I like that just as it is that fit I could just do this one just a little bit more smaller Oops. there we go doesn't that look nice now that would be really nice it's almost like a little hat pin wouldn't it I'm loving these so there we go guys I'm not going to do that one up because it would take too much time but you get the gist of what I've been doing and how much fun it is now I'm definitely going to be making more of these because I absolutely love them um, they are just beautiful and they are something that I would use um, in my crafting in my junk journals and things because that's beautiful I'll do a close-up of these um, as well at the end of the video but please do have a have a go if you do have any um, shrink plastic um, in your depths of your craft room that you haven't used for a very very long time then please do get it out get your stamps out um, and a little bit of a color of some sort you can use um, probably watercolor pencils um, chalks inks um, I'm going to use some paint actually next time I do it the next video I will do some um, some jelly printing onto them because I think that will be fun to do but I just love them so there we go guys thank you so much for joining me a little bit longer video than normal um, but I do like to have a play so there we go guys take care stay safe and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye